I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test paper of my student Amandeep Saini. Let me first congratulate him for getting almost 100% marks in this test also. So we will discuss these questions one by one. Here is the first one on finite difference. Now the question here is use finite difference to identify the function as linear, quadratic, exponential or neither. So as you know we'll find the difference between consecutive values of y and see if they have a trend. If there are multiples of a number then it is exponential. If the finite difference is constant, the first finite difference is constant, then it's linear and if second finite difference is constant then it is going to be quadratic. If none of those things are true then it is neither. So let's begin with the very first one. So the values are given in proper sequence minus 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2. It is to be checked at times. In test paper, we may change some of these values, right? I may write 0, 13 before minus 1, 1, and then, you know, you may get a wrong answer. So first step is always look into the trend in X. Is it in proper order or not? And then begin by finding the finite difference. Finite difference really means we have to do first finite difference which is I denoted by delta 1 so y2 minus y1 minus 2 minus of minus 2.75 so that will give us 0 0.75 and then we do 1 minus minus 2 that will give us 3 13 minus 1 gives us 12 61 minus 13 gives us 48 253 minus 61 gives us this is 2 and then 9 and then we borrow 192. Now you can see each number the finite difference is in a particular order it is times 4 so 0.75 times 4 I mean 0.4 times 4 is 3 and 3 times 4 is 12 so we do see a trend here that each number is actually a multiple of 4 right since the first difference now here let me write this as my first difference is a multiple of 4 right so this particular data represents exponential function now you can calculate the first and second finite difference of the second set of data given to you which is here let me call this as B and this as A for the time being so here we are given X values in order but they are like going up by 2 each time but still there is a trend so we can do Y2 minus Y1 so if I find the first difference I get 8 minus 5 which is 3 13 minus 8 which is 5 7 9 11 right now let's take out the second difference which is 5 minus 3 2 2 2 and 2 now since second difference is constant which I write as delta 2 and which is equal to 2 we say it's a quadratic function Now I can give you one more tip about this. We know that this is an exponential function and the second set of data represents quadratic function. Normally a quadratic equation is given in the form of y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. If the second difference is constant and it is equals to 2, then a is equals to 2 divided by 2 which is 1. In general, a will be equals to the constant second difference divided by 2. In this case of an exponential function, we normally have an exponential function to the base and the base here for the exponential function is the multiple which is 4 for us, correct? So, so that also gives you an idea about the function itself. So at times if you have to write the equation of the function, you can do so by utilizing these values. I hope that helps. Thank you.